What's up everyone? This is Crypto Foxy. Thank you for so much for stopping back by my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, HBAR and uh, Hedera and how they have been able to uh, to garner so much success over this past year. We're going to look at their year in review and what they are focusing on in the coming future. Before we get into, into it though, please make sure you smash that like button. You're subscribed to my channel. Uh, the more of you that help, you know, push out this algorithm, the more, uh, you know, HBAR news we can spread uh, to other uh, people across the YouTube space and hopefully, uh, you know, spread the good word of HBAR. So let's get into our article here. So there there was a year in review and um, they talked with uh, with VP of strategy, Elaine Song, and uh, some of the details that she has revealed is awesome. So within the Hedera ecosystem, the company witnessed the launch of 106 products, services, and use cases, while the HBAR Foundation reported an impressive 986% year-over-year increase in Hedera's ne uh, network revenue, which means that, you know, the network's being used and they're, they reached 3.5 million, which is an amount five times greater than all previous years combined. So that is massive. So going forward, right, you know, with the with the year that we just had and, uh, you know, they're still producing, you know, record numbers. It's awesome. So in a uh, recently released year in review, the HBAR Foundation revealed that 95 percent of its funding was linked to the completion of milestones. Um, receiving 575 funding applications. So the foundation committed $16 million in funding across 68 grants in 2023. So within the Hedera ecosystem, it was dubbed the year of the build. With 106 products, services, and use cases going live, what factors contributed to this remarkable development and how does it shape Hedera's trajectory in the coming years? Um, so the strategy, it, what they focused on mainly was modularity. So the ability for applications and network features to build on top of each other. So interoperability, right? Um, you want connectivity between different ecosystems and, uh, exp and that it really garners, you know, uh, explosion of organic growth down the line, right? You're going to get people using it if it's usable, right? So I think uh, Hedera is doing things the right way. Uh, the challenging market conditions allowed them to uh, the foundation to ruthlessly prioritize key areas of focus, uh, institutional DeFi sustainability and cus uh, sorry consumer engagement. As a part of this target of focus, the foundation and its partners were able to go deep into pl uh, pilots and proofs of concept for key use cases. So that's a very, very smart right there. Um, key use cases that really stands out to me because they really they're really they're doing their research and they're knowing what people want and that's what they're trying to build on top of their ecosystem um so it gave them an opportunity to f uh, foster community engagement and focus on sustainable growth that is um the key takeaways that i got from this article i did read the whole thing into its entirety and that is um you know the main things that are i was focusing on but you can say but foxy the price has been down recently well Yes, over the past day or two, over the weekend, yes, the price is down. But you know what? When we zoom out, <laughs> I know people say this all the time in crypto, when in doubt, zoom out. But look at this run up we've had right since October, um, probably, yeah, October 19th ish area. Um, HBAR has been on an absolute tear. And, you know, things can't go up forever. Things have to have a little bit of a pullback. Um, in my opinion, this had a lot to do with the overall market. I'm kind of at a little bit of a standstill waiting on the Bitcoin ETF news. And we are seeing it start to come back up. We have come back up, bounced off that seven and a half cent uh, support line that I talked about in videos yesterday. And we're sitting comfortably right now at about 8.1 cents. So this, we're on the, also on the four hour chart. So uh, let's go switch over just to see what is going on right now in the one hour. So we do see that things are moving along here. You know, we've got only got a couple of red candles in there um, in the overall uh, one hour chart. So things are starting to come back. Hedera uh, HBAR is definitely not something that's going away anytime soon. So, you know, um, if you had a little bit of a breather over the weekend, hopefully, you know, if you had to dollar cost average uh, down or anything like that, hopefully you got the opportunity. Um, I did make three purchases over the last week. And, uh, you know, I added yesterday as well, once we touched down and the low seven cents range and uh, things are coming back along nicely, just kind of like I, I, well, I expected it to. That's why I purchased it when I did. Um, but, uh, you know, 
the Bitcoin ETF news could definitely push this market forward pretty, uh, pr propel it pretty quickly. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. I just wanted to give you a quick update, let you guys know what's going on with HBAR, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you stick around, smash that like button and the subscribe button as well. Catch you in the next one. Peace.